I V M. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine. What would you be doing today had it not been for your day-to-day responsibilities of meeting work deadlines and making sure your family is financially secured? Would you have been a footballer, kicking the ball around on those grassy grounds? Or would you have been an artist, sitting near a window overlooking the hills as you paint away? Maybe you crave to be a photographer. But here you are, framing a picture of the life you wish you had. But this can still be a reality. करो पूरे अपने इरादे अपनों से किए सभी वादे एस पी आई लाइफ अपने लिए अपनों के लिए टू नो मोर अबाउट आर इंश्योरेंस प्लान वेल्थ क्रिएशन लॉग ऑन टू डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट एस पी आई लाइफ डॉट को डॉट इन आई आर डी ए आई रजिस्ट्रेशन नंबर वन 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 है गाइज आई वे मिस टर्निंग सेवन कैन यू बिलीव इट आई मीन When I look back at the 200 odd episodes I've recorded with them for Say No to Drama, I can only think of all the fun moments that we've had creating this podcast together. It's definitely been an awesome journey for me with these guys, and I can't wait to see what the next 7 years bring for us. So it's Women's Day again. Yes, that day of the year where brands will put out a whole bunch of offers. The marketing peeps will be going crazy trying to sell you a whole lot of things. Why? Because you're a woman or then because you have women in your life that you should be treating well. And everybody will put up a post on their Instagram wishing each other, celebrating being a woman, celebrating the different women in their life. But does anyone even know the history of this day? and does anyone really understand the significance of a day like this well not just this day of all the different days that we celebrate through the year how many of us actually use google in a slightly more efficient way on these particular days maybe to learn something to understand where all of this started hi i'm chetna your favorite positive action coach and this is say no to drama and no i'm not here today to give you a sermon on why these days are a waste of time or why these days are only marketing ploys I mean to each his own however i would like to share certain things that if women were given a choice they would really scream out loud today and they may seem like trivial things but it's still stuff that i see them struggling through in every session and also i will tell women certain things just to remind them that these are the pieces that they need to be working on So if you are out there celebrating or wishing people happy women's day think about these aspects just for a little bit number 1 please stop telling women what they can or can't do what they should or should not do yes and i'm talking to fathers to parents to grandparents i'm talking to the entire patriarchal army that sits in your own house in your own family back off Stop telling the mother, the wife, the daughter, the granddaughter what they should and should not be doing, what they can and can't do. If your daughter does not want to get married because she'd much rather build her career, say yes and support her. She is allowed to make her own choices and she is allowed to make her own mistakes. If she goes forward 5 years from now and regrets not getting married then, let her carry that. Let her live through that. That's the point of the human journey. Yes, you can try to prevent it by advising her, but don't threaten her and don't bully her if she is not willing to take your advice and wishes to go on an adventure. So what if she gets a little bruised and scratched? She's not made of porcelain. Trust your own upbringing to know that your daughter is more resilient. If your wife, whatever your age, wants to do something, you are nobody to give her permission. She can get up and do whatever she wants to as long as as a rational human being she has sat and thought it through and is willing to commit and do whatever it takes. The world and society makes our life hard as it is almost by doing nothing just by asking us or forcing us to stick by all the rules that have already been laid out. So do your partner a favor stop standing in her way. Maybe she doesn't know how to do business maybe she's not good with money well be supportive and teach her or give her guidance or find her somebody from whom she can learn 
instead of standing there and criticizing her and judging her and trying to prevent her from doing anything just because you are being protective thank you but women don't need to be protected in this manner do you know how many men i know who get drunk and behave obnoxiously and do you know what happens the next day they are told that oh you had a bit too much yesterday didn't you and a lot of people don't like it they may not invite them to the next party or you know they'll speak behind his back but his partner his wife his girlfriend will have to deal with the embarrassment and they will turn up at every other social event but when a woman does the same thing it turns into a big chaotic space it turns into oh how she has embarrassed the whole family or oh, how she could do something like this or oh, she has ruined the family name or oh she has embarrassed her partner and he can't show his face anywhere well here's point number 3 let your woman get out and have a good time if you guys get drunk and one of you behaves silly big deal we've all been there and i'm talking to the generation that's in their 20s 30s or even in their 40s sure i don't expect this of our parents who have crossed 55 or 65 or even in their 70s but those who are in their 40s 30s and 20s i mean lighten up each and every one of us has gone out had a gala time and behaved like an idiot Do not put your partner down just because she had one rough night or one extremely fun night. She does not need you to take care of her by preventing her from having fun at all the next time. She needs you to take care of her by making sure that you hold her hair if she's throwing up and that you get her into bed safely. That's what she needs without you lecturing her. And oh, let me also say this to the women. This goes both ways, huh? So if your man is having a fun time and he behaves like an idiot please don't lecture him in the middle of the night besides both genders need to understand that when you're drunk and when you're out of it you're not listening to anything you're not registering anything just as men need to stop permitting the women in their life from doing things women need to stop asking or seeking that permission you do not need approval you have your own mind use it Stop asking can I do this instead state what you want to do why you want to how you're going to do it be willing to have a discussion even if it turns a bit heated stop skulking away from what you call confrontations and conflicts because those aren't even the c of confrontations and conflicts it's just your need for validation and approval rearing its head telling you to back off because if you argue you will be told you're not a good person or the person may not like you that day or it will turn it to a fight and they will disapprove of you and oh my god your whole world will end won't it i'll also say this to women who are stuck in tough situations in ugly relationships in um spaces where they're not being allowed to leave and what i'm about to say comes with a lot of conditions apply and there are a lot of exceptions to the scenario but If you are a woman born and brought up in an urban setting with a certain degree of education and if your family is not letting you do certain things maybe you need to have the gumption to get up and do what you have to do and hold on to the faith that when you do succeed your family will come around your family does love you but they are bound by their own conditioning so if you are in a marriage where you are being abused or there is domestic violence seek help and get out even if your family is not supporting you as a life coach who helps women through many of these scenarios through the recovery process after such scenarios let me tell you this everyone survives and goes on to thrive even if their parents don't support them if you have an education then get up and move and yes it is easier said than done and that's why i said seek help reach out to people in your life whether they are friends whether they're relatives or even if they're just a neighbor who's willing to listen and help seek help and make your way out of that space the reason why i directed this to those in urban settings is because those who don't have an education backing them for them to get out and find a job is that much harder for them to be financially independent is that much harder in rural settings for them to do things and to escape and to find a way towards safety is that much harder but in an urban city it's doable and i say this very cautiously having helped many people out of such situations having placed many people on the road to recovery and healing 
do not stay in a bad relationship in a bad job in a bad situation just because someone else will think whatever it is they want to think about you or just because the men in your life aren't giving you permission or even just because the women in your life aren't giving permission and at this point i will say this to all the mothers grandmothers aunts friends who don't support that woman in their life who is struggling in a bad situation and they don't help her get out of it shame on you as a mother if you leave your daughter in a bad marriage because of society or because oh that's her home now shame on you as a grandmother if you do that shame on you as a friend if you do that shame on you as a woman if you see another woman not in a good place you help her you get up and do what you have to do to help her and get her out of there before we look at the men to do these things we women also need to step up and change to the mother in laws who are bullying the daughters and the daughter in laws and the granddaughters shame on you i didn't start this episode wanting to shame anybody but as i have recorded this piece i've realized that the cliche that women are women's biggest enemies it is still true and as i think about so many of my clients i can see how it is still true to the men it's about time you realize that the women in your life are educated they have dreams they have traveled the world just as you have they have already lived a life that is equal to yours from the day they were born till the time that your paths will cross they are not less than you in any way to the men always remember that the women have lived a life that is equal to yours from the day that they were born we so many of us have been given the same education the same opportunities as you and so when our paths cross we are equals we don't need to be protected just as you don't need to be protected we don't need to be provided for just as you don't need to be provided for we both have been raised to be independent thinking individuals and as i say this i hope the women the girls are listening too if you don't want a man to treat you like a helpless bird who needs to be taken care of and who cannot do anything on her own then you need to live like that as well I'm not one to send out happy women's day messages. I doubt you will see anything on my Instagram remotely close to it. <laughs> But I will tell the boys and girls who have tuned in, who are listening to this episode. We both have to change if our lives have to change. No, the men don't need to make all the changes and the women just have to stand back and wait for it to happen. That's not how it works. A lot of us women also need to change in many ways. So if you are one to send a happy women's day message to anybody make sure you think about what you need to change to become a more wholesome human being as always if you want tips on how to become a wholesome human being all you need to do is scroll down and listen to the previous episodes they're all available on the IBM podcast app and website and you can connect with me on instagram my handle is positivity angel if you would like to get on the road to recovery on the road to rebuilding your life dm to book a session sometimes it feels like all the weight of the world has fallen onto my shoulders and it usually happens on my downtime while i'm enjoying a nice game of cricket it's like my family realizes that i'm watching cricket and just rush to ruin it for me then My mom will come in ranting about some problem with the neighbors. My wife will come in shouting about how we need to redo our kitchen plus also some problem with the neighbors. And my daughter will come in angry at me because the color of the new car we bought is not what she had wanted, which is apparently the biggest crime a father can commit. Plus of course, some problem with the neighbors. Hmm. Ah, if only things could be just the same even if something were to happen to me. Unless www.hdfclife.com Select, select, done. Hmm, things aren't so bad after all. Live calm with HDFC Life Click to protect life. The Life Protect option protects your family from financial uncertainty. Visit hdfclife.com to know more and for terms and conditions. 
Hey everybody, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On Think Fast, Varun and Suchita discuss the rise of audio erotica and leadership dynamics at Indigo Airlines. Do you love board games? The Simplified Gang have a fun chat with Zain Memon, creator of the political strategy board game Shasan. On all things policy, the Takshashila folk analyze India's response to rare diseases on the occasion of Rare Diseases Day. On the Life Manifesto, Zarina explains the concepts of asexuality and aromanticism. And on the Musafir Stories Traveler, Tanisha Guin explores West Bengal's hill station Mirik with Seth and Faiza. So, on a personal note, I wanted to let you all know that this week marks the 7th anniversary since I started IBM. I'm eternally grateful to the team we have here, especially Kavita Rajwade and Teja Sringarpure, who have been here since the beginning. They've seen the struggles, our eventual acquisition by Pratilipi, and our continued struggles to make podcasting a large and thriving part of the media industry. We have the best hosts in the world, and I have to say that I'm so glad and so grateful that they have chosen to work with us. And finally, I'd like to say thank you to you, the millions of folks that have heard or watched our content. All I can say is, you ain't seen nothing yet. I hope you join us as we continue this journey. In the meanwhile, do follow us on social media where IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. Also, don't forget to rate us on any platform you're listening to. You can also check us out on YouTube. Get a list of all of our channels. You can go to ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube where you can go to all the channels. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, SBI Life Insurance, Bank of Baroda, Max Life Insurance, India Water Portal, and HDFC Life Insurance. Thank you so much for making this possible. 